This is the new ROG Matrix Platinum RTX 4090. It's a $3,199.99 GPU. The fastest RTX 4090 available. Well, if you can find one. In the United States, there's only a few hundred that will be available, and it's an extremely limited run because these are binned GPUs, meaning ASUS is basically scraping off the best of the best of the RTX 4090s that they have and making this putting liquid metal on it and then adding a very robust 360 millimeter AIO on top of it. Now this is something that we need to discuss because right here is a copper cold plate. Now if you've seen a lot of my videos on liquid metal you'll know that liquid metal absorbs into copper. And when I met with Asus last week talking about this GPU because this is their most powerful uh, consumer gaming slash productivity GPU, they wanted to run down all the specs and answer all of my questions. So this was actually my question. Liquid metal absorbs into copper. What is the long-term performance of this GPU? if the liquid metal that they've placed on here is going to absorb into copper. So they assured me, and they had basically a detailed plan, basically saying that with their mythology, with their experience with putting liquid metal in laptops, which I've done on most of my laptops over the last four, three, four, five years or so, um, they feel that they have a method, methodology that will allow this GPU to just continue to perform indefinitely. Uh, basically, the liquid metal um, outperforming the usefulness of this GPU. And if anything does go wrong, then they do say that they're going to, of course, take care of it. You know, adhere to the warranty and all that stuff. So if the liquid metal does absorb too much into the copper, they will take care of it. Um, so they were very confident, honestly, in their response. It, it felt more secure on my end because I do have plenty of experience with seeing liquid metal over three months, six months, and a year being absorbed greatly into different qualities of copper. Now, typically you want nickel-plated copper. This is just kind of a given. If you're gonna be putting liquid metal on something, you want it to be a nickel-plated copper because that nickel plate will then prevent that liquid metal from absorbing into the copper. So a lot of people think that liquid metal evaporates. No, that's actually just absorbing into the copper. And the easy way around it is just apply more liquid metal to it until the copper gets to the point where it just kind of tires out. It doesn't want to absorb uh, that liquid metal anymore. So for my average laptops, typically it's about two to three coatings over a one year period. And then they're good for a number of years. And now they're just sitting in a corner collecting dust because they're obsolete now. So that's what I'm kind of always been concerned about when I heard about the Matrix line when I first saw it at... Computex in Taipei, Taiwan, you know, it was all kind of roped off and RGB going everywhere. Uh, but Asus feels that this is going to last a very, very long time. And the liquid metal to copper issue is a non-issue in their eyes. So time will tell. We'll find out. But in the meantime, yeah, we're doing a new build with this. The most powerful RTX 4090, the ROG Matrix, yeah. We're going to have some fun. So like and follow, and you're going to see a lot of testing, a lot of gaming, a lot of productivity, and of course, a lot of benching.